These days, more and more, we see in the transplant clinic patients with refractory hematologic malignancies, especially acute myeloid leukemia, who are referred to transplant. Historically, we used to avoid offering allotransplant to these patients who are not in complete remission. I think now the landscape is changing. And there are several reasons for this. First of all, unfortunately, AMR remains uncurable in many situations, especially when it comes to refractory disease, because we don't have any new magic bullet, I would say. Uh, this is why uh, the allogenic immune effect can offer a good uh, therapy for these patients. Uh, the other reason why uh, these patients are proposed uh, because I think the safety of transplant is improving, toxicity is decreasing, and we have access to more and more donors. So it's becoming more and more common, I would say, in many centers to offer a transplant for patients with refractory diseases, especially refractory acute myeloid leukemia. And I think the already available evidence from single center or multi-center or registry-based data are rather uh, convincing uh, because the procedure is feasible, there are conditioning regimens, especially the sequential conditioning regimen, including a cytoreductive uh, component followed by the conditioning, uh, are proving to be safe in terms of toxicity. But also I think uh, the uh, optimism about using this type of trans uh, transplanting refractory ML is related to the fact that we are able to offer after transplant consolidation and maintenance therapy. DLI, of course, adoptive immunotherapy. We can also now do the new cellular therapies like CAR T cells, but also pharmacologic uh, agent for maintenance therapy. And for example, the FLAT3 inhibitors uh, or uh, hypomethylating agent are extremely good candidates. So in summary, I think uh, allogenic stem cell transplantation is becoming more and more an important option in patients with refractory hematologic malignancies, and I think this is proving to be useful uh, to many patients.